Okay, so today's gonna to be kind of an interesting accessory install video in the back of the new 2013 GMC Denali half-ton pickup truck. This has the five and three quarter foot long bed. And uh, I mentioned in a previous video where we were actually installing the bed cover, the tonneau cover, which is the uh, Pace Edwards Jackrabbit tonneau cover. Very, very cool, really like it. Um, but anyways, I mentioned during the install of that that I would talk about the half bed cover we have in here. And now you can see we have the other half of it right here and some of the pros and cons and reasons why you may love it, reasons why you may want to just be very cautious if you decide to get it, but overall some of the perks of it. So we're going to install the other half here in a second, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this specific bed mat before we, uh, we go any further. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so this product is produced by a company called Black Armor. This is essentially, if I had to describe it, it's like a horse stall mat that's essentially custom fit to the bed of whatever truck you have, if you order it, of course, specifically for your truck. And it has this kind of a diamond pattern to it, but this diamond plate pattern is actually inset instead of sticking out, so that's kind of cool. Um, so this thing's made of super thick rubber. It's actually half inch thick rubber. And if you wanna compare this to a bed rug or to an access bed mat or uh, even some of the other brands that make bed mats, you're gonna be doing yourself a lot of injustice because this is an entirely different level of bed mat. It is incredibly robust. It's pretty much solid rubber. Like I said, it's like a horse stall mat and it's virtually impenetrable in terms of just anything possibly getting through this and damaging it. This is uh, what I would consider to be the most extreme duty, heaviest duty bed mat I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, but anything that is this rugged, that is this you know, robust and, and thick and durable and specifically made out of like recycled rubber is gonna inevitably have a con and that con is its weight. It is incredibly heavy. Um, each half of it weighs about 42 pounds, 43 pounds. This entire bed mat for a short bed truck weighs almost 90 pounds. Um, it's very, very heavy and hence the reason why it comes in two pieces. Um, and I know that, you know, to some folks, something that weighs near 90 pounds isn't that heavy. But when you start trying to manipulate this thing into the bed of the truck, you're going to realize very quickly that half inch thick rubber um, solid rubber is very, very heavy and it can be challenging. So I think probably the most challenging part of all this is actually installing it. But there's also something else you do want to be very focused on and pay very close attention to. Let me show you. So on my truck, GM puts a really cool tow capacity sticker right here, all your trailering stickers. But what you want to focus in on is your payload capacity, 1,442 pounds on this specific truck, which is actually a pretty average amount of capacity for a half ton truck. A lot of half ton trucks are below that and some are slightly above that. But 1,442 is very, very common in terms of what you're going to see in luxury half ton pickup trucks. And you gotta imagine if this thing weighs 80 pounds, you have to deduct 80 pounds from your overall cargo capacity. But beyond that, the actual cargo capacity as rated for towing in terms of gooseneck is actually 975 pounds. So with this bed mat in the back, you have to take 80 pounds off of that. So that means you're deducting cargo capacity just by having a bed mat in the bed of your truck. Now I say that because every time we talk about trucks and their trim levels, I always mention that the higher spec truck you have with more luxury amenities, more luxury features, the more cargo capacity it takes away from the truck because the curb weight of the truck's heavier, you have a set gross vehicle weight rating, and anything that adds to your curb weight is going to deduct from the remaining cargo capacity that you have in your vehicle. And by having the most extreme bed mat you can get, in the bed of your truck, you are taking away the capacity that the bed of the truck might normally be able to carry by about 80 pounds. If you have a long bed truck, if you have a six and a half foot bed, or if you have an eight foot bed, you're gonna be taking away even more because this is gonna be even heavier, probably over a hundred pounds for an eight foot bed. And it's just something you have to keep 
your eye on. Now, if you have a truck that has just a, a stupid amount of cargo capacity, like a heavy duty payload package version of a truck, or you have, you know, a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a gas engine and you have like 4,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity, well then adding a hundred pounds worth of weight to the back as kind of a permanent fixture is probably not going to be that big of a deal to you because it's not going to impact your capacity that much. But with me having under 1,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity, it's really cool to have this because it is going to offer a huge amount of protection to the bed, but it's also going to remove roughly 80 pounds worth of cargo capacity that I can put in the bed from the truck. It's, it's not an insignificant amount because if you think about it, it weighs about as much as, you know, a lighter weight weight distribution hitch or, you know, significantly more than a lot of hitches that are on the market and other things you may put in the bed of your truck. It actually weighs more than the tonneau cover. So these are just things you want to keep in mind if you are planning on installing accessories. Now, that said, this is going to be the most robust bed mat you've probably ever seen. And if you throw a lot of stuff in the bed of your truck, you're probably going to want something like this. If you use your truck to haul around dirt, aggregate, brick, concrete, stuff like that, and you just don't want to damage the bed, Something like this is going to be phenomenal because it'll probably outlast the actual truck just in terms of uh, its its ruggedness. So that's that's really cool. But let's get this thing unrolled. Let's get it laid out in the truck, and uh, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's fully installed. And real quick, I just wanted to show you something to think about. This is a bulletproof hitch. It has a two and a half inch solid steel shank, quarter inch channel. This thing's rated at like 36,000 pounds worth of towing capacity. Absolutely insane, like 7,000 pounds worth of hitch weight. And it actually weighs a little less than that. Just to kind of put things in perspective, when I say that, half of the bed mat. So if you have two of these hitches, you would have roughly the same weight as a full bed mat in a short bed truck. Just trying to throw that out. I'm not trying to, you know, beat a dead horse with this thing. I just want you guys to kind of realize how much some things weigh. And the same person who may buy something like this may buy something like this. So between, you know, the three of these right here, you, you could be adding roughly 150 pounds worth of weight to the back of your truck. Okay, so we have it installed. I have the holes drilled in the front so I can feed the drain lines from the Jackrabbit tonneau cover through the bottom of the cartridge down through the mat, through the bed of the truck. Uh, you know, it comes in two pieces. So you have the front piece and the back piece here. It connects right here with kind of a dovetail type connection, which you can see right there in the middle. There is a seam, and I, I don't know what it's gonna take to make that seam sit completely flush and closed. So only time will tell. I think the heat from the sun hitting it right here is actually causing it to sit down a little flatter. This side right here is kind of curled up a little bit, but I've had this back piece in the truck now for nearly a week, and it hasn't completely sat flush all the way across. This side you can tell is still kind of sitting up. The tie downs on the bed itself kind of keep it from curling up even more, and that's nice. This side is sitting a little lower than this side, so hopefully it'll all kind of settle down. I don't know if Honestly, most people will care if it settles completely flat, um, just because the fact is they're getting a bed cover or a bed mat that's that thick and robust that, you know, anything you throw in the back here is likely not going to even make it through any gaps or any seams. It'll just essentially hit this rubber mat and your bed will be protected. You can see up here where it's curled up quite a bit. But yeah, so they claim on their their little advertisement of the, the label that this is the thickest bed mat around. I don't think that's actually true. Um, it's definitely the most dense because it's solid rubber, but I think it's probably as thick or maybe even a little less thick than say a bed rug or even the access mats. Um, I have a tape measure here and it is certainly a half inch thick, but I could measure both an access rug, which is a half inch thick as well, or a bed rug, which is three quarters, I think in some spots. Um, and they're going to be thicker, but this is by far going to offer a different type of protection. Now, I can't necessarily claim whether it's going to be better protection because with the other products, even though they are as thick, if not thicker, they're not as dense. They use more of a foam material, and that foam material is going to cushion something that impacts it. But that cushioning may actually provide quite a bit of protection. When you have something this thick and dense, 
it's obviously going to provide a tremendous amount of protection and it's going to last a long time, but because it's so dense, it may not actually cushion something that hits it. Um, I don't think it really matters much for what most people use pickup trucks for. I think it'll probably work just fine and it's absolutely the most heavy duty bed mat I've ever seen. But, you know, it's, uh, it's really going to be interesting to see how this thing sets down over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the truck up and put it in the sun. So we'll see if the heat and that warmth actually allows the bed mat to rest a little flatter in the back of the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and move the truck and see what happens. Okay, so I have the truck positioned in the sun now. I'm going to see if the sun helps the left side back here actually uh, set a little flatter. I want to do a quick test to see Kind of, uh, well, it's not really a durability test. I mean, this thing is obviously going to be able to withstand quite a few punctures or impacts. But what's going to be interesting is to show you what you can do without worrying when you have something like this in the bed of your truck. You don't even have to worry about it because this thing is so thick that you could throw just about anything you want back here within reason and probably not have to worry about damaging your bed at all. But yeah, I definitely want that crease to settle down a little flatter. Um, it looks really nice on this side. I'm going to see what the sun's capable of doing with its heat. Hopefully, the whole thing will just set down completely flat after, you know, being in the sun for a little while. But we'll see. But I know people are obviously going to say throwing a 10-pound little triangle towing hitch back there isn't much of a test. Why don't you throw something a little heavier? Well, I think that's certainly a much better test. Okay, let's see if we were able to dent the bed at all by dropping a 45 pound bulletproof 36,000 pound rated hitch on the back with some sharp angles. So it's not as if it was just hitting it and it's, you know, nice and smooth and flat. It had the two bolts inside of it that hold, or the two pins that hold it in place. Not seeing any damage. Again, <laughs> really didn't expect to considering what this mat is made out of and how thick it is. Very, very cool. So yeah, if you are looking for the toughest, the most durable, the most heavy duty and the highest rated towing hitch, it would be the bulletproof hitch right here. This thing is pretty, pretty crazy tough. Super, super heavy, 36,000 pound towing capacity, 7,000 pound hitch weight capacity. It definitely has no direct rivals in terms of ratings. That's pretty insane. But if you're looking for the most durable, densest, heavy duty, badass bed mat you can get, check out Black Armor. This may be what you need for your truck. Shoot, if you're gonna be putting a welding rig in the back of your truck, if you're gonna be tossing, you know, aggregate bricks, things like that, you can put it in the back of your truck. If you're gonna be uh, carrying a lot of lumber, a lot of tools, stuff that might normally puncture a typical bed cover, stuff that might normally puncture, tear, or damage a typical bed mat or bed liner, this is what you want, half inch thick, super, super dense. Again, it's like having a custom fit horse stall mat in the bed of your truck, so super cool. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Big shout out to my sponsors over at eTrailer for providing this to me for review and evaluation. And uh, just for the heck of it, I might actually get another type of bed cover material out here and do some similar testing in the back of this uh, GMC Denali. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, Talk to you again very soon.